Hey everyone, Espero here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we've got a unit builder for the newest resplendent hero, Takumi. Or as many of us like to call him, Taco Meat. He's the second unit to be getting the Hell-themed attire, and I've got to say, his artwork really looks pretty nice. Takumi's another one of those units that already has solid art, in my opinion, but this new Resplendent skin is still pretty cool. I like the color choices, and it's definitely a refreshing take on his usual Hoshiden attire. That being said, I do think that Takumi really needs those extra stats from the Resplendent bonus, so let's finally get the show on the road and take a look at what he's packing. At 5 stars level 40, Takumi's neutral stats read as HP 40, Attack 32, Speed 33, Defense 25, and Resistance 18. You know, I have to say that as someone who wasn't really playing Fire Emblem Heroes during Book 1, it's really interesting to see all these dated stat spreads. We've come such a long way as far as base stat totals go. I mean, across the board, his stats are pretty low by today's standards. But it's just so fascinating to think that at one point, this was the norm. 32 attack will not hold up well today for a 5 star exclusive unit, and while 33 speed could definitely be salvaged, it's going to take a lot of investment in both orbs and skill inheritance in order to really make Takumi somewhat viable. Still, I know for a fact that there are several people out there that love Takumi, you know who you are, and will stop at no end to give him the premium treatment. That being said, this is what his stats look like with the resplendent bonus. Also, do keep in mind that Takumi does also tote a super boon in defense, which is actually pretty useful given his base kit and his role in most teams. We'll talk more about that in just a moment, but I would definitely recommend keeping it in mind. Now, like with all of our resplendent units, Takumi's been around since the start of the game, meaning that some of you might already have a plus 10 Takumi lying around. He is Fate's royalty, so this wouldn't surprise me, and if this is the case, here are what his stats look like at plus 10. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda get sad looking at his stats because of this post that I saw on Reddit just a few weeks ago. It compares Takumi's stat spread to that of Shinen's stat spread, as well as Hector's stat spread compared to that of Edelgard's. Now, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you might know that I generally don't like to compare units. Unlike most other Fey YouTubers, I don't take Arena or AR very seriously, and so I'm not normally one to cater to competitive modes, nor do I often pay much attention to power creep. However, when I came across this post on Reddit, I genuinely felt kinda sad. As you can see, Takumi and Shinen have really similar stat spreads, but the greatest difference between the two that might not be super obvious to some viewers is that Takumi is at max merges, and Shinen is unmerged. Power creep is very real, and while it shouldn't come as a surprise to me, it was certainly disheartening to see it spelled out so clearly with this example. Nevertheless, I am determined to make the most out of Takumi's assets for the sake of this video. That being said, let's take a quick look at his base kit. Takumi's base weapon is the Fusion Yumi, which has 14 might, and like all bows, a natural effectiveness towards flying units. As for its effect, this bow allows Takumi to pass through any foes so long as his HP is greater than or equal to 50%. Yikes. This is not a good weapon effect, but it has since been refined. Once refined, its effect changes and instead allows him to pass through any terrain. It then has the added effect of allowing Takumi to warp to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces, much like aerobatics or flyer formation. On one hand, this pseudo-formation skill can certainly have its uses, but on the other hand, I'm so upset by this refine when we consider how much more potent weapon effects are nowadays. This is a tough one. I'm going to use this weapon for one of our builds today, but definitely not both, as we honestly have some much better inheritable options for him that are way better suited for his role. Now, I wasn't planning on talking about his special, Vengeance, as I really don't like it, nor do I think people even use it nowadays, but I just wanted to point out how strange it is that they gave him the special. Vengeance, for those who don't know, scales its damage boost based off the damage that Takumi has already taken. In other words, the lower his HP, the more damage he'll do once it activates. It makes sense from a story perspective as, spoiler alert, Takumi's hungry for vengeance throughout most of Conquest. But what I don't get is why they would give him this special when his bow wants him to be healthy in order for its effect to activate. That makes no sense to me. Anyway! 
Close counter! I'm sure half of you watching this video aren't even gonna build him and are likely just going to fodder him off for close counter anyway, and honestly, I, I can't blame you. You already know what this skill does, it allows ranged units to attack up close, and for a very long time, Takumi was the only unit in the regular summoning pool that had it. Wait, wait, that's still true. All the other units that have it are either seasonally locked or legendary, so he's still the only one in the regular pool with it. Oh my god! Any <laughs> anyway, it's because of this skill that Takumi is primarily an enemy phase unit. If you decide to keep it on him, you'll want to build up his defense, as he'll need it if he wants to be able to take hits from close range. This is probably the best time to transition into our first build, as we'll certainly be working to maximize Takumi's enemy phase potential. On to build number one. Alright, build number one is a high investment build that aims to help improve what Takumi already used to do. Because of close counter, Takumi is frequently locked in as an enemy phase defensive archer. However, Takumi's base resistance leaves a lot to be desired, and so instead of keeping close counter on him, I think that he would do much better with close foil. An incredibly sought after skill right now, close foil allows him to counter close range melee threats, so anything but dragons really, and also grants him an additional plus 5 attack and defense on the enemy phase, which I think is a much better trade off. And as many of us already know, this skill can be inherited from Midori, who's also got the Spendthrift Bow, which is the bow we're gonna roll with for this build. The Spendthrift Bow is a fantastic bow for any defensive archers, as it automatically grants the user attack plus 7, and also inflicts attack minus 7 on the enemy in combat. With an additional refine and defense, this bow is excellent for Takumi. However, the cost for having such a crazy good effect is that after combat, if the unit attacked, it inflicts minus 2 to your unit's cooldown cost, making it much harder to run and activate certain specials. Because of this limitation, we're really only going to want two cooldown specials, as those will be the only ones that will be able to activate reliably on the enemy phase, assuming Takumi is able to land the follow-up in each engagement. For that reason, Glimmer should work just fine for him. As for his B skill, my recommendation for him would be a lull skill. Lull skills are being used more and more frequently these days as they're a reliable way of shutting down visible bonuses on the enemy while also applying a slight in-combat debuff as well. I think that any combination of attack, speed, or defense would work for the lull skill. Attack will help him to tank better, lull defense will allow him to hit harder, and lull speed will help him win speed checks. You can't go wrong with either one of these. For the sake of this build, however, I'm plugging in Lull's speed and defense since I'd like to boost his speed up a little and also allow him to hit a bit harder. That brings us over to our C skill next, which is flexible. Joint drive skills have claimed victory as some of the best inheritable C skills in the game right now, and in an effort to boost his speed up even more, I'm gonna give him joint drive speed. So long as he's within two spaces of an ally, both him and those allies will benefit from an additional plus four speed in combat. Smoke skills are of course another solid budget option if you're a little tighter on resources. And lastly, we've got our Sacred Seal, which I'm going to reserve for a stance skill, since we are rocking an enemy phase build, of course. Kestrel Stance 2 isn't yet available as a Sacred Seal, unfortunately, and so I think that the next best option for him would have to be Steady Posture 2, which grants him plus 4 speed and defense in combat on the enemy phase. Close Defense is another solid option that grants him plus 6 defense and resistance when up against close range threats, but I do think that he wants the extra speed more over the res, and I would still like for him to have that defense even when up against other archers or daggers. Okay, and that is it for build number 1. Definitely a fun enemy phase build that I think improves upon the role that Takumi traditionally plays. Of course, it's worth noting that units like Midori or Shinen, however you pronounce his name, do outclass him, but if you absolutely adore Takumi and are willing to go all in for him, then I would recommend this build. Now, I did whip up a second build that makes use of Fujin Yumi, Takumi's native bow, 
which, as we've already explained, allows him to warp to nearby allies, but the build is incredibly gimmicky, so I don't know that it's worth the long explanation. So instead, here's a screenshot from the unit builder. Since Takumi's able to warp around his allies, it makes him a really good candidate to run a Rally Ruse combination, so that he can buff up his allies, debuff enemies in cardinal directions, and still provide some in-combat bonuses to his allies. Being able to weave yourself around your allies can turn out to be pretty clutch, since infantry units don't normally have access to these types of movement skills. But I still think he's primarily close counter fodder, so I figured I'd save you guys 4 minutes and just show you this instead. <laughs> anyway, here are what Takumi's stats look like at max investment. Friendly reminder that because he is a book 1 infantry unit, he has access to up to 15 dragon flowers, which grants him an additional plus 3 to all stats, which I think he definitely needs. Alrighty, and that is it for today's video. What do you guys think of his new art? I think it actually looks pretty cool, although he does look much thinner than usual. Almost sickly, perhaps? Or maybe that's intentional. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and if you like what you see, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also, as an added reminder, I do stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays over on Twitch. We play Faye, Mario Sunshine, Pokemon, and now Genshin Impact. Yes, I've been hooked. The gacha was too strong. Alright, thanks again for watching everyone, have a great weekend, and as always, happy saving, happy summoning, and take care.